Good morning, everybody. Um, we, all, we all know uh, that we have an affordable housing crisis uh, in New York City. We also all know that our history tells us that in times of crisis, New York City has often uh, helped the recovery by investing and creating more affordable housing because it creates both housing, but it also creates jobs. But even before the COVID-19 pandemic, affordable housing had become a political football in our city with too few housing benefits and too few economic benefits being delivered to neighborhood residents, leading to a political uh, fight over each and every project. What I'm here today to propose is a grand bargain, an idea that will help us break through that log jam, deliver more jobs, more housing, and eliminate the political um, rancor that, is, that has uh, surrounded affordable housing. Three parts to the grand bargain. First, we need to ensure that New Yorkers who need jobs now more than ever have access to the jobs created by the construction projects. We should mandate local hiring and we should mandate that those jobs come with a living wage for all construction jobs created. Two, I was housing commissioner under Mayor Michael Bloomberg. We, we created uh, 165,000 units of housing. The current administration has done 200,000 plus. We know how to produce housing, but even with that production, the odds of winning an affordable housing unit are astronomical. So we need to expand the ways in which we provide housing opportunity to the people in our city who need housing. So my idea is that we need to expand access to housing vouchers. We need to give people the power to rent units and we need to provide them with the assistance to help pay the rent uh, in that unit. That will open up housing opportunity for more New Yorkers who need it and will create opportunity for New Yorkers to find decent, safe, affordable housing. The third part of this is that we need to find a way to end the ability for one person or one group to kill a project because of a piece of the project they don't like. Now, if we take steps one and two, maybe step three takes care of itself because we'll be delivering jobs and economic benefit to neighborhoods and we'll be delivering housing opportunity to people that need it. But we can't afford to take that chance. So I think now is the time to end um, the, 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 the ability for political um, uh, debate to kill projects that the city needs. So my idea is to remove 100% affordable projects from the requirement to go through the Euler process. These projects will be, will, will, will be fast-tracked, they will be moved through the process, they will be built more quickly, and they will provide the housing uh, that New Yorkers need. So the grand bargain, all of these things work together. You can't do one and not the other two. You gotta create the jobs and you gotta ensure that local people can get the jobs. You gotta expand people's ability to get access to housing so they feel the benefit of the housing dollars that the city is spending. And then you have to fast track development so that projects get built and people get housed more quickly. I think if we can do these things, I think we will break the cycle of distrust around development in our neighborhoods and in our communities. And we will create more opportunity for people to solve their biggest problems, which are jobs and housing. Thank you.